Hi, I'm Dr. Sanjay Panikkar. I founded Amrita Homeopathy in 1996 in a small town in Kerala. We have two clinics now in Bangalore. One is in Koramangala and the other one in Marathali. We specialize in hair and skin problems, respiratory problems, allergies, pediatrics, infertility, varicocele and hepatitis B. Allergies in children are commonly because of the immune system which is hypersensitive to certain things in the atmosphere or in the food that he or she consumes. So here the immune system is identifying some protein either which is in the atmosphere like what you inhale or what comes in contact with the skin or what is consumed in food. These proteins are often identified as a bacteria or virus. The immune cells called as mast cells, they are supposed to release histamine whenever they come in contact with bacteria or viruses. But in allergies, this histamine is released unnecessarily even if the patient's immune system comes in contact with any other protein which is actually not to be reacted against. So the immune system has a wrong identification that something else is a bacteria and this histamine which is supposed to kill bacteria and viruses is released in the bloodstream even if the patient's bloodstream, that's the immune system, comes in contact with any of these allergens. The most common things is inhalant allergy which is because of dust or pollens or sometimes they are sensitive to even changes in the temperature which can trigger allergic reactions. Also, the patients can have allergies to certain food items like the proteins in dal and the proteins in non-vegetarian food, butter, jam, all these things are also found to be allergens. There are various, it's a big list of allergens. So when we treat this, we are correcting the immune system memory. Homeopathic medicines is known to correct the memory of the immune cells. So when we give medicines, gradually the immune system memory gets corrected. Every year, in certain seasons, the immune cells are released in excess. So in case of respiratory allergies, we find that these problems increase in rainy season and winter season. Because when the immune cells are released for everybody to protect you against bacteria and viruses, at that time some abnormal immune cells are also released, which is wrongly thinking that something else is a bacteria. And once it is released, then it goes and releases that particular chemical called as histamine. When histamine is released in the nose, it causes running nose, sneezing, nose block. When it is released in the throat, it can cause throat irritation. In the eye, it can cause eye itching and redness. In the ear, ear irritation. And in the skin, it can cause rashes. In the lungs, it can even cause wheezing. And hence, these type of cells have a wrong memory which has to be replaced. So suppose I give medicine. In let us say 3 or 6 months, your immune system is producing healthy immune cells. The defective immune cells are there in the blood. Every day, a few cells are dying, healthy cells are replacing it. So over a period of time, the entire bloodstream gets replaced with healthier immune cells. Let us say this year, some 100 abnormal cells have been released in the rainy season. So when you are on medication continuously, you will see the next winter, maybe 75 abnormal cells are released. Next to next rainy season, maybe 25 abnormal cells are released. So this is an approximate thing. I'm just saying how the immune system changes. So the release of the immune cell becomes lesser and lesser and abnormal cells become lesser and lesser until the body will start producing healthy immune cells more in number. Eventually the process of allergies get corrected and the bloodstream gets replaced with healthier immune cells. But during this process of treatment, it is important to keep away from the allergens as much as possible. It is like if you keep seeing your friend, you will remember his face. But if you don't see him for several years or several months, you may forget his face. So the same way that allergen, if you are not in contact with for a long period, it becomes easier for the body to disconnect or remove that memory or to erase that memory. So it is possible to cure allergies and it can be done with homeopathic medicine and alternative medication is the only hope as far as complete cure of allergies. Otherwise, the regular use of antihistamines can temporarily relieve the situation. When you use a steroid, you may be able to feel a little better. But to completely eradicate it, it's important to change the immune system memory. And that is possible with homeopathic medication.